ਬ੍ਰੈਂਟਨ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਪੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਬ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਈਸੋਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰਾਂ ਲਈ ਫੰਡ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਨੇ ਆਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਲੋਕ ਆਈਸੋਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਗਲਤ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਹੀ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜੇਕਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ 14 ਦਿਨਾਂ ਲਈ ਹੋਟਲ ਅਫੋਰਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਧੀਆ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਥੈਂਕਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਫਾਰ ਸਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਆਰ ਰਿਕੁਐਸਟ ਫਾਰ ਆਈਸੋਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰਸ ਆਈ ਹੈਡ previously expressed frustration that the federal government had funded isolation centers in Mississauga and Toronto and Brampton being one of the hardest hit regions in the country hadn't had our request for an isolation center and I expressed my frustration to the premier uh, to the minister of municipal affairs um and to our local representatives in Brampton both MPPs and MPs and so it was um great news uh, when I got a note um in late December that the provincial government was going to come to the table and fund isolation centers in Brampton to begin um the province uh, had made a commitment of 12.5 million in targeted support for high priority communities which includes Brampton and 42 million will be available to establish isolation centers across these regions and the minister specified Brampton um in his uh, announcement and so we plan to have isolation centers located in Bramley in northeast brampton and we anticipate opening these facilities very soon public health is already engaged now that the funding is provided and i want to explain why this was something we were so passionate about you know some people have misconceptions on isolation centers they're not a jail it's it's a voluntary option it's a hotel that is essentially seconded by public health and if someone tests positive they will be informed that this is an option they have and why that's so important is if you look in Brampton we have crowded living conditions and if someone lives with two or three people it might not be hard to isolate in a different part of the house but if you live with 10 people it's virtually impossible and so having this tool having this option of a location to safely isolate is critical because in many cases people in precarious employment or who work for temp agencies in essential settings can't afford a hotel room for 14 days don't have an option for a safe place to isolate so i want to thank our minister of municipal affairs steve clark who is an ally in getting this funding and and premier ford um this is good news for the city of brampton and i can't wait for these to officially open because they will be a, an important tool in combating covid-19 and one of the hardest hit cities in canada I also um want to share an update um on Oshler's uh, efforts. Dr. Navid Mohammed isn't here today but he continues to do an incredible job leading the charge with the Oshler Health System um and particularly at Brampton Civic and Pill Memorial which are the Oshler sites in the city of Brampton. Um right now they're rolling out the vaccination um as designated by the province this includes that all residents, healthcare workers and essential caregivers at long-term care homes will receive a covid-19 vaccination by January 21st. And this is um a big relief, you know, we've had our long-term care settings hit very hard. Our hospital has been hit hard and to protect those frontline workers is going to be um a relief for some of our most vulnerable settings in the city. 